Hi, I'm Mariana. In this video, we'll go over how you can use the Customer Journey Builder to create a journey map that gives each of your contacts a personalized experience with your brand. Ready to learn more about planning, building, and activating a Customer Journey Map? Let's dive in. MailChimp's Customer Journey Builder helps us build dynamic, automated marketing paths for our contacts. And for a customer journey, to be successful, we want to have a plan or strategy. It's important for us to think about how we want our contacts to begin a journey and where we want them to end up. So this will help us choose the starting and journey points we'll need to achieve our goals. So for example, let's say we want our contacts who have just signed up to our audience or have been tagged as new customers to start a journey to get an email that's tailored to them. And if a contact meets either of our starting point conditions, they'll be added to our journey map. And we can get even more specific about who will enter by creating a filter with up to five conditions. Now, let's look at the side panel where you'll see all the journey points you can include. So consider setting a delay if you want your contacts to pause for a period of time before moving on to the next point in their journey. And this rule is always good to include if you plan to send a series of emails. And you can also set a wait rule if you want to prevent your contacts from moving on in their journey until they meet a specific condition. For our example with the two starting points, let's say we want our contacts who enter our workflow to pause in their journey until they buy any product from our store, which would indicate that they're interested in becoming regular customers. Let's also set a time limit for this rule so that a contact won't get stuck there. There, one week should do it. Great. And once a contact buys something, we'll choose the action we want them to take on our behalf. So let's send an email that includes a discount code for a specific product we want the contacts to buy. I'll add a subject and preview message and choose a saved template for sending the discount code. Great. Now we're gonna add the if else rule because we wanna create separate paths for our contact to take based on whether or not they buy a specific product. If a contact buys a product, we may wanna send them another email that showcases similar products in our store or tag them as VIP customers. And if a contact doesn't buy the product, they'll go down the no path. And this is an opportunity to send an email that gives them a gentle nudge to make a purchase. So I think I'll send them another discount code or some other enticing deal that will get them back into our store. All right, I think this map is ready to go. Once we're happy with what we've built, we can turn on the customer journey map and see where each contact's journey takes them. Awesome. So that's it. You've learned how to use the customer journey builder and created your first customer journey map. If you're looking for more information about customer journeys, check out our guides and tutorials.